ومحمدا رسول الله ويقيدي أدنو إليه ساجدا بجبيني اقبل صلاة We really and truly have to get reintroduced to our religion. A number of points. First and foremost, ilm is not an on-off switch. Ilm is not that either you have it or you don't. No. There are millions of shades of gray in between. There will be some, Allah Azza wa Jal blesses them, that they can drop everything, give up their secular education, and go and study in Azhar, in Medina, in Indonesia, in Islamabad, go and study all over the world, spend decades, but those are the exceptions. If you can be like them, alhamdulillah. If not, the first point that I'm going to say, don't just throw in the towel. Don't just say, okay, well, I can't go to Medina, I can't go to Azhar, I can't go, I'm just going to sit here and do, do nothing in Islamic studies. No! There's a lot you can do sitting right here now. A lot you can do to better yourselves intellectually in the Islamic sciences. So, don't have an either-or mentality. Either I become the Sheikh and Mufti of North America, or else I'm going to remain as Jahl as I am for the rest of my life. Sorry brothers and sisters, it doesn't work that way. We only need one Mufti for North America. Maybe five, six, alhamdulillah, good. That's all we need. But we need hundreds and thousands of basic Imams. Hundreds and thousands of students of knowledge. And you can get to that level without ever traveling abroad. You can. Secondly, once you realize there are shades of gray, and I need to just improve a higher shade, that's all I need to do. Once you realize this, sit down and say, okay, what time do I have? And trust me, every one of us has plenty of time. Every one of us has the same 24 hours a day. Nobody has any more, any less. Of course, we have different lifespans, but in terms of time as it goes by, okay, tangential time, it's the same with everybody. Everybody has time. Look at your schedule, what do I do? Do I drive to work? Or do I take the bus or whatever? I have time to listen to CDs and MP3s. I have an iPod, I have this and that. Instead of listening to music, or instead of wasting my time listening to things that have no relevance and, and value to me, let me buy a series about the Sahaba. Let me buy a series about the Prophets. Let me buy a series about Fiqh. Series are very important because you build. It's not just talks here and there. And every day, I'm going to listen to these CDs and these talks every single day until I finish the entire collection and then I'm going to listen to them again to solidify what I know. When I wake up in the morning, what do I do? I surf the net for 20 minutes before leaving. I don't really need to. I can cut that down to five. That gives me 15 minutes. Let me read some, some interesting book about Islam. Let me build up my knowledge of my religion. Find out how much time you have and schedule in knowledge. You need to schedule it in. Thirdly, you need to find a mentor. This is necessary. Why? Because if you don't find a mentor, you have no clue what to study and how to study and what books to buy and what CDs to listen to. You're just going to be, as they say in Arabic, how to be layl, which means somebody goes out at night and just collects all types of firewood. He might collect a scorpion and a snake. He has no clue what it is because it's in the dark. You don't collect firewood in the middle of the night. You just gather whatever you can know. You need to have somebody who's more knowledgeable than you. Doesn't have to be the biggest sheikh around. It's difficult to get in touch with some of them. Somebody who's preceded the path and is higher than you. And you say, what do you recommend? What do I start with? Where do I go? Once you've done that, he'll take you to a different level. And so on and so forth. Fourthly, certain things you need to study without any exception. The most important of them, Quran and Sunnah. This is something you need to do. This should be a daily routine. Every day, read some Quran in Arabic and then it's translation in English. No exceptions. You need food to live, you need Quran and Sunnah for your soul. The food for your soul is the word of Allah and the word of the Prophet ﷺ. If you don't have this food, your heart will die. Every day, inject in some time to read the Quran in Arabic, that's the barakah, and then understand it in English. And then some books of hadith, one hadith a day. I recommend you two books, and I encourage everybody to have these two books and read them at least one hadith a day. The first of them, the 40 hadith of Nawawi. Read this book cover to cover. Very, the most useful hadith for the layman. And then once you've done the 40 hadith of Imam Nawi, move on to Riyad al-Salihin, also by Imam Nawi. This book was written for you, literally. It is, in my humble opinion, the most practical and the most useful book of hadith for the layman. Riyad al-Salihin, Gardens of the Righteous, many translations in English, Bengali, Urdu, every language on the face of this earth, it has been translated into. Gardens of the Righteous. The third thing you need to study after Quran and Sunnah, Sirah. The life of the Prophet 
make sure you know the life of this man. Brothers and sisters, it is really a sad testament to our knowledge. How much filth we know. How much fahisha and corruption we know. How much evil we know about everything. How much useless information we know about music, about movies, about sports. Some of which is haram, others of which is mubah. None of which is blessed. It might be haram, it might be neutral. None of it is blessed. It is a shame that we have so much crammed in our heads. And I'm sorry for daunting you in this lecture like this, but that's the reality, okay? It is a shame that we have so much knowledge. Really, if we did a quiz of the latest movies and who starred in what and what are the latest... I can't even say these things. Alhamdulillah, I plead ignorance and I'm proud of this ignorance. Who are the latest rappers and the musicians and whatnot? You know so much about them. So much. Even statistics about sports crammed in our heads. If only we had as much knowledge of our own religion and the Sahaba and the Tabi'un and the great scholars, where would we be now? So prioritize, prioritize. Make sure you have, nobody's saying cut off all the sports and anything else that's mubah, permissible. Fine, spend some time doing that as well. But also spend some time with this religion. <laughs> أخبر الأيام أنها في وصال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال